Hello, this is Amos Tarfa. If you have seen the Living Sensibly Bible Reading Plan, you know that the first book of the Bible from the epistles that we're looking at is Ephesians. So we have Ephesians and then John and then Genesis. Those are the three books of the Bible that the Living Sensibly Bible Reading Plan starts with. Uh, I just want to talk briefly about the book of Ephesians, even as you start there. Uh, one of the reasons why I recommend reading the epistles regularly, and of course we should read the whole Bible regularly, but one of the reasons why I'm emphasizing the epistles is because of what they can do in teaching us how to grow in discernment and exercising in understanding what is good and evil. As we look at the New Testament and the New Covenant, Jesus laid the groundwork there and then the apostles come and they are teaching using the Old Testament and the New Testament, but they talk about the importance of discernment. So discernment is so critical and I want to encourage us to grow in it. So we're looking at the book of Ephesians. In this video, I just want to focus on Ephesians for a few minutes. The book of Ephesians has six chapters. And one of the amazing things about the book of Ephesians is that the first three chapters in Ephesians talk a lot about the doctrine or the basis of salvation. It is in Ephesians, after all, that it talks about, for you have been saved, uh, for, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. So the book of Ephesians explains that right away. It teaches us that, you know, right in the beginning. And actually, Paul does this over and over again in different parts of, his, of the books you know, that, that Paul wrote. Uh, Peter did the same thing. He starts and he talks about the gospel. The gospel is, is the power of God unto salvation. It says in Romans 1. So notice that Paul did that again in Romans, right? Let's turn to Romans 1 for a second. I know that's not our passage today, but I just want to show you how he does this. A powerful section. He says, um, Romans 16, 1, 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. For in it, in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. So Paul is generally in all his books giving you the gospel, giving you the foundation. And then he dives in further and gives you more of more information in terms of how you should live. So Ephesians does that. It talks about, it starts right away talking about redemption in Christ. And then it talks about how we're saved by grace. It talks about the mystery revealed and the purpose of the mystery and the appreciation of the mystery. And then he says one of the most profound prayers in the Bible. This is a prayer that, says, that Paul says in Ephesians 3, 20. Uh, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. So that's from Ephesians chapter 3. Then Paul goes on and does several things. He, does the, he talks about walking in unity. He talks about spiritual gifts. He talks about the new man. He says, do not grieve the spirit. These are different uh, key headings from the New King James Bible. And then Paul tells them to walk in love, walk in light, walk in wisdom. He talks about marriage and talks about children and parents. He talks about uh, bond servants and masters. He talks about the whole armor of God. And then he gives them a greeting at the end in the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians is rich, just like all the Bible is. But it's rich with a reminder of the riches of Christ Jesus. What he has done for us. If we are in Christ and we have accepted the gift of eternal life, my friends, Jesus is enough. That's all we need. We don't need to let the world tell us how to live. We live by how God tells us to live. And we love truly and we walk in the truth. Thank you for watching this introduction to, to the book of Ephesians. I'll be doing a more in-depth analysis of each of the chapters, going through all of the book of Ephesians. And uh, I've already put out the video for Ephesians chapter 5, which you can also check on my channel. Thank you for your time. Please consider subscribing to this channel, where we'll be looking more at life lessons, book reviews, and just looking at how we can grow and flourish where God has planted us. Thank you for your time. God bless and take care.